Bwana asifiwe. Na ninafurahi kwa nyinyi wote siku ya leo. Akatinya bwa bwa yete na kwetu. Kwa sababu Mungu amewawezesha mfike siku ya leo. Amun kaboni chiporaida ke hichi ko nyine tini. Ili aweze kutudenea pamoja. Asikabi ko malalo hichi kibagenge. Mungu wetu ni mwaminifu. Eh ne ekigo ianat Jehovah nenyon. Habadiliki jana leo na milele. Akomo wala se en raini en karun aboi koigi. So ningependa kuwakaribisha kwa neno ya siku ya leo. Akamache atacha and get touch get tool. Mujisikie katika Bwana. Okasomien kitaya. Ili tusikie yale ambao ametutayarishia siku ya leo. Kasto kuruki nebo mchabwe kibagenge. Bwana wabariki. Wabiru rao Jehovah. Tunaenda kusoma neno la Bwana. Mateke ya Soman and with Natalie. Katika kitabu cha Luka. Agebendige nanye kitabu with Natalie kitabu ta Luka. Luka mtakatifu. Kitabu ta Luka. Ah, mlango wa tano kurgeta mut kuanzia moja ngeten oitet netai hadi kuna moja ago itamana kagenge ningeomba tusomee kwa kana njini um ile tipo la soko kwa tamara mwa e para mwa luse ne bara maliet ne bota agiri bota ko ko gichi tuye ne a ko kase ma dia ta ti ko ba ko tono ne ne te ne ko ta ba ra ta ne ko kesa je na sa re a gi ge mo ni a gi a gi ge mo ni ko ni ko ni ti ko be ko tono do se ni ka ko ta ba ra ra ta a ko ki ga ko chur ge ro mi ko ba ko mu ko ko ma ti re ni ve ko ti ni ma ni ti re ni a gi la ni mo ni ge ta ge ni gi ne ni gi ko se ni ko so ko le ko na ta en ko lo i ki ti ge ne ni ge ko a gi te be a gi te mo ni Anyo ako nentu yosye ko mi mo inget ba ma la yegi ko ga ko ges ko ges ka la leni ko de ni saimon ta i kwe ta i kwe i kwe ni mo inget ko le chang be a gi chor ta re gre yue ko ko ramisye a gi wa simon saimon ko le ki ta ya ndani ka be mo ishe ko ke ma u ko ko mu ul a ma wi yu ki a go a chor ta i re gre ni wa a mu ngal ya nde mu. Abi yegi ko ga ko yae ko uno ton ko nami chire ni ni sia ko ko ta e ko ngen tia re re yue ko a a ni ngwech pi che ni ba isi tu ko che ni mi ma inge ta ga ko le ko 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 ta re ko ko a yu a ko ni ma i ko ni tu a ko ko ta e ma i ko ni ko su ni ba si ko da ko yegi ko ge si mi an pe te ro ko ko ti ko 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 mu <hesitation> ko ko ti ko ko ti ko ko tungai ko tungai ga che so ko le isto ai na ge amun a chi ne batenge e ki ta ya ndani amun ki kwang a ki 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 kwang a tu ko che ki mi ko bo ta ine de da ko ban jire ni che ki ga na che ki ga na ne bo ta man ki kwang yo a ki che ki a ko bo jo na we ri ga se be di che ki ba i sie tu ko ko bo ta se mi a ki de ji che so se mi a me ri we ise ko bo chi ku na e ku ne ro me bi Taba na genge, a genge ngo ga go, ka go get mai go ni kwa, ka a genge ngo ga go, go get mai go ni kwa go bang gegu, go ba ga ta tugul a go sip in and dead. Palua ya kingereza ina sema hivi, one day as Jesus was standing by the lake of Gennesaret, the people were crowding around him and listening to the word of God. He saw at the water's edge, Two boats left there by the fishermen, who were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the people from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, "Put out into deep water and let down the nets for a catch." Simon answered, "Master, we've worked hard all night and haven't caught anything." But because you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done so, they caught such a large number of fish that their nets began to break. So they signaled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so full that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at Jesus. He fell at Jesus' knees and said, Go away from me, Lord. I am a sinful man. For he had all his companions, for for all, for.
for he and all his companions were astonished at the catch of fish they had taken. And so were James and John, the sons of Zebedee's, Simon's partners. Then Jesus said to Simon, don't be afraid. From now on, you will fish for people. So they pulled their boats up on the shore, left everything and followed him. Let us pray. Okay, so. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we are grateful for your love. We are grateful for making us possible to be here today. Thank you, Jehovah God, because you have a purpose for this gathering. Thank you, Jehovah God, that you are going to use us as uh, vessels to speak your word today. And Jehovah God, your Holy Spirit is going to intervene in a special way that my Father, at the end of it all, we will not remain the same. In Jesus' name I pray and believe. Amen. We are going to learn something from the book of Luke chapter 5. Luke chapter 5. And we are going to learn something about what Jesus did. When I was reading through that chapter, it was a bit challenging what topic I was going to give the scripture. And because we have read this chapter several times, and God has spoken to us in very many different ways of using the same scripture. But what we want to learn about this chapter today it's the unreasonable will of God. When you try to think, what do we mean when we say unreasonable? And when I was going through my dictionary, it was it was telling me that unreasonable is something governed by or acting according to reason. Something inappropriate. When you look at it, it doesn't make sense to you. So, what is the unreasonable will of God for me and you? Ask your neighbor today in the morning. Do you understand the will of God in your life? I said, ask your neighbor. <laughs> Sometimes it is unreasonable. Sometimes it is straightforward. But mostly, things don't make sense. As we look at the things that God do in our lives, sometimes we ask ourselves very many questions. In the book of Luke chapter 5, we are told about this fisherman. In common sense, Fishermen go to the lake to fish at night. And they go somewhere at the shore, not very deep. But 
Because at that time the fish have come out. And they get their fish and go home. But this day, I've been taught Simon and the group. They had toiled the whole night. But they didn't get anything. Then Jesus comes during the day. And as he was speaking to the people, he told them, let's go deeper. And catch. According to these people, they were wondering. What is wrong with Jesus? It is daytime. Where do we get fish during the day? And he is telling us to go deeper. Where do we get fish in the deep? They had very many questions. And this was very unreasonable to them. Because according to the study of fishermen, they know at, at during the day we will not get fish. I don't know what is unreasonable in our situation. There are many things. Maybe you can think of one, maybe you cannot think about any. But there are very many examples. If somebody came and told you today, there is a new factory somewhere. And they want tea in plenty. But they want you to go and pluck that tea at night. Is it possible? That could be something unreasonable. Because in our setting we pluck tea during the day. So that you can get the right quality and the right amount. That could be an example of something which is unreasonable. Even Peter thought like that. What does the Bible say in verse 4? Put out into the deeper water and let down the nets. For a catch. Let's say for a catch. Jesus was very confident that there is a catch. Because he knows everything. He's the son of God. He was involved in creation of sea and everything that is in the sea. He was aware there is a catch. But my brother Simon Peter with his human being Let's hear what he said in verse 5. Master, we have worked hard all night. And haven't caught anything. But because you say, I will let down the net. The word there is because you say. 
Although what you are telling me is unreasonable. Kola moon anganda ngaliyoda ni mwa watu kuke mami gabo watu tiki kuke mawe gu ne mawe kuke mawe gu itosi. I will do it. Kola haya ego unata. And they went ahead and pulled their boats and pulled their nets. Ago ki testa ego kuchorta regere yu al mawe gu ni kuage ago chorta regere yu e kuage. When we read in verse six and seven, in case of a man named Koite Tabla, at the bottom of it, we have heard what happened. Kegaskit Negiya. They had a big catch. Kole wogi the drum injire nikche chang missing. Until they had to call their brothers. Ago tibo kogul tu kiosi kwa kio runo kwa. Come and help us. Ago nengi opwa no toaretej. We have a big catch. Ago nyoro injire nikche chang. Something that was very unreasonable. Kit Negi mo gumi na etabo agu yet. Has turned to be a very big blessing to these people. Not to Simon Peter alone. But even to his friends. It overflew from Simon Peter. Simon Peter. Up to the other people who are with him. What are we learning from here? Peter listened to Jesus. Kigasit Jehovah Petero. And he did not only listen. Ago magasit ana magas kitio. He obeyed Jesus command. Ago kigasit Jehovah. Ago kigasit ngalek chegogimuachi. As a result of that. Ago tuku kigi mangi niyotoni. He received abundant blessings. Konyor ka ka berure neo negi 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 rantage. That was too much for him. Kota ba kugi. He had missing any entity, and he had to take it to other people that were with him. Ago ya chinendet ko 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 sipta ko sipte chibin chengi mi ko bata inendet. We heard what Peter said. Kige ga kige ga skit negi mua betero. It gave him an opportunity to search himself. Ko kige ga chibara enda ko chenge. And he saw that he is a sinner before Jesus. Ago gere ko le inendet ko kige kiptenge kio tentai tab Jehovah. What did Jesus tell him? Do not be afraid. Because from today, you will not be a fisherman. You are going to fish men. God is whispering something to you today. He talks in a soft voice. The question is, are you listening? Are you listening to that soft voice? Because you cannot take action before you hear what he has said. If Simon did not listen to what Jesus was saying, he would not have gone deeper into the But he listened and he did what Jesus commanded. How busy are we? Quite as a Christian, how busy are you? Do you have time to listen? So that you can do what the will of God for you is. As a It could be unreasonable. But God has commanded. Go. And do this and this and that. Are you listening? And are you willing? To do the will of God. How will you do the will of God if you don't know what the will of God is for your life? Koto si ay tano magani ba Jehovah yon meingen ako pa magen na mache Jehovah isabing. God is talking to you today. Ngalalun Jehovah in petuni Ebrai. He wants you to listen. Ako mache igas. So that you can do what is His will in your life. Asikobiti ay git ang maget 
so that you can obey his commands. As I said earlier, Jesus was involved in creation. He knows everything. He knows you. He knows me. Are you ready to obey his commands? Jesus takes you as an individual. He is talking to you as an individual. Not as a celebrate church. He does not compare you with anybody else. But he sees you as an individual. And he has a plan for your life as an individual. And that's why he's talking to us today. He spoke specifically to Simon Peter. And told him what to do. And Simon Peter obeyed. And in the process of obeying, he discovered the will of God for his life. And he walked with Jesus. And he did not remain in the lake. We all know what Peter did in the ministry of Jesus. Because he obeyed the command of Jesus. The word of God is challenging us today. We need to obey the voice of Jesus. Because there are several blessings when we obey Jesus. One of the blessings is we receive both physical and spiritual blessings. We have had testimonies this morning. Of what Jesus is doing in the life of his people. We have had those who are comforted when they were mourning. We have had those who were comforted when they were mourning. Who are healed. Those are some of the things that God wants for his children. And he has very many other things that he has planned for his children. But he's requesting us one thing. Are we ready to obey? When we obey, we will understand who we are. We will have what we call self-discovery. As we read the word of God. And listen to what God is saying. It will explain to us who we are. And we want, and what we need to do. This word of God is very rich. Um, Thank you. It is full of wisdom. There is nothing that happens to humankind that is not in the word of God. Those we think are reasonable and those we think are unreasonable. It is all in the word of God. Those we think are reasonable and those we think are unreasonable. Do you have time to seek the word of God? God is talking to us today. And he wants you to search yourself as an individual. 
Isuege, Igerge. What other things do we get up by obeying the word of God? We will have a lot of peace. As we do the will of God, you will do it very peacefully. Because you have obeyed the word. That is not enough. When you obey the word of God, you will not remain the same. We have had Simeon Peter was changed from a fisherman to go and fish men. Even you will not remain the same. Because God has a destiny for you. And you will understand where you are going. Because through the Spirit of God, you will be led to where you are supposed to go. And you will do the will of God. And that is not enough. We are told that we, we are given the privilege to claim God's promises. Because every command that is in this Bible, it comes with a promise. It comes with a promise. So when you obey the word of God, you are given that privilege. You claim the promises that God has promised. God is willing to show you his will today. If you only seek him, Jesus is asking to us today. He saying, say yes. Say yes. yes. And God is going to use you in whatever he wants you to do. It doesn't matter what storm you are facing in the world. We are living in the bad days. Children have turned against their parents. Parents have, have turned against their children. The world has changed. We are hearing only bad things happening. But amid all these things, what is the will of God for you? When Simon Peter and his group were mourning about the loss of fish. And they were wondering what next. Jesus came and gave a command. In the midst of that trouble that they were going in. And he changed everything. And they were surprised. Because that was the unreasonable will of God for them. He wanted to provide for them. And to use him in his ministry. It is not in flesh and blood. But it is in the obedience of the Holy Spirit. What do you need today? Is it salvation? The Savior is calling you today. Come. He wants to save you. Are you sick? 
Kwaito siti itinye kit ne anan miondo en porta ngung Jehovah Rafa Ale Jehovah Rafa The great physician Ale inendet ko kasabindet neo He wants to heal you Maye ko kasabin Is it peace that you don't have Kwaito siti itinye kaliet Jehovah Shalom Ale Jehovah Shalom He wants to give you peace Kumache kukonin kaliet What don't you have? Negit ne metinye. Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh. He wants to provide for you. Kale macho kukonin. Is there anything too hard for our God? Kwae nigi ne uye en Jehovah. Just obey. Eh, igun ne kose it kityo. God has the best plan for us today. Kale tinye bongo nuti kemiach. Agoba eche. Just obey. Kale igasi it kityo. He wants to do great things in your life. Are you ready? Are you ready to say whatever God you say I will do? Are you ready to do the will of God despite how painful it is? Are you willing to stand with the church despite the circumstances? God is talking to you today. The church today is going through a lot of challenges. When we listen to our radios, radio, when we watch on our television, the church is undergoing a lot of problems today. Will you stand and say, I want to do the will of God? Or you will be one of those who are saying, Oh, oh, he met. And I will be one of those who are saying, It is now beyond us. They are always talking about this. Are you going to stand with the church today? So that when our secretary stands with a certificate. Ah, singo ngo tono secretary niyon ak certificate ko uyu ka tono. And say congratulations to Silipuet Church. Ako mo le gongo in Silipuet kanisa tap Silipuet. Are you part of that congratulation? Why go to spot in? Is your hand in that certificate? Or you are just escorting people to church? It is a challenge. It is a challenge. Where do you stand? I know, and I need to know ne none. As a Christian in Silibuete. Koi wa si bindet neva Kristo. Koi chita ne punes ananemi Silibuete. Where is your position? Miano kebeber tangu. When the role is called up yonder. Yegi yeche iriaget agobit kurset. Will you be there? Tos koi agenge. That certificate is covering all of us. Koi le certificate na angut eche tugu. Silibuete AGC. Silibuete AGC. It is time for you to search yourself. How much have you done as an individual? For Silibuet Church to be where we are today. What have you done as an individual? For the department of Wazze to stand. What have you done for the department of Chebioso to stand? Even for the youth and the children. What are you doing for that those departments to stand? God is asking today. Are you willing to obey? Are you ready to commit yourself to what, to what God has commanded? You will not remain the same. May God bless you. May God continue helping us. That we may have time to search his word. To hear what he has to say. And obey. Amen. Sorry.
kwanda Jehova inkanet ni mi ne bo Jesu kongoi amun e kwanda nyon agitinye tubu kemiach tinye maget ne mi ne che ai ngalalu echen sai ni Jehova ago bo maget ne tinye ago bigu mai le mag magen Jehova ago maget ne tinye banganet ne kararan en chi age tugul ne gigotaji tinye git ne kararan ago bo bigu tinye chomiet ne o ago bo bigu Jehova ni ge de wendi ai tugu keche to se we ki lo sun kongo en Ganesan, the Gongo and Gondo said, Nemi, Reverend, a condo in a tet ne meeting about local church council. No, some on the Beruti check at Jehovah. Do say, Chin Goitin Kerit, Goitin Digana Tet, Goitin Mutai, the Goitin Kotonosa, and Casariton Kigog, as Gilgan said, Gobun and Casartaneu, Gotonosa and Kayanet, no, Akoboy Sheu, Swabiti Belishi, Akitoro Gaine. Sembagi gerech ke gerin kuanda nyon amoni nye ne tono ne ilasun mi sembagi toror gane amu gake sa agiani en kainet ne tili ne ba Jesus ne kita nyon.